This is Bad Pete No, and tonight we're going to be talking about everything we know so far about the distribution logistics system for Dyson Sphere program. Arguably, it's not a lot. Uh, today is Thursday, September the 8th, which is the same day that uh, this was posted on Steam, and uh, we're expecting this update to drop uh, late in the month, so within the next couple of weeks, uh, most likely followed by a few you know, patches to fix different stuff in subsequent time. But uh, what we know so far is that distribution logistics will allow us to transport items back and forth between Icarus and st storage facilities, as well as from facility to facility. And while it may seem like we don't know a whole lot more, I think we can make some reasonable inferences about uh, what features uh, we can expect and what this is going to do. So uh, first, though, I did want to say for anybody who thinks that this is a missing feature that's being added to the game, uh, this uh, by nature uh, implies that there is a perfect version of the game, which is basically, you know, Factorio on round surfaces. And that since Factorio has it and Dyson Sphere doesn't, the game is therefore incomplete, imperfect. And uh, that's just a knock to the devs. And I prefer to take more of a glass is half full perspective. If the game doesn't have something you'd like to see, that's what modding is for. You can, you know, find a mod, make a mod, put a request in through the form uh, on Steam or through uh, the Reddit community. Um, but if you really insist to, on having that mindset where there's a perfect standard that the devs are supposed to adhere to, I would argue that you can have that today. You just need to put a fisheye lens on your Factorio and call it Dyson Sphere and boom, you're done. Perfect clone. So what do we actually have uh, that we can scrape from this a little bit more? First, there's two different standards for how drones are governed in the game. We have logistics drones and vessels that are tied to a specific facility and need to be crafted. And we have construction drones, which are tied to Icarus and are increased in number by the unlocking of technology. I would argue that these drones most likely fall into the first category based on the fact that you're able to transport from facility to facility. That means that you're going to have to craft the drones, put them into the facility, and then send them out to Icarus. The next thing that we know is that they are compatible with both Mark 1 and Mark 2 storage facilities and that those facilities can be stacked. Now from the screenshot, we can't see how high the facilities can be stacked. My guess would be either they can go to the full height that you're uh, currently unlocked to or one less to account for the facility that's sitting on top of them, um, although it is not really specified. Uh, so from where do uh, these unlock in the technology tree? My guess is that these are going to be um, in the yellow science tier, um, but I'm leaning towards a linear progression where these will be kind of your Mark 1 logistics, then you'll go to your Mark 2, which is your PLS, and Mark 3, which is your ILS, and gas giant orbital collectors, which is just your, you know, your weird cousin. Um, next, we've got this nifty screenshot of the information card, and it does say that this is reference and not final in-game text, but I would argue that this is pretty directionally close. And while I don't read uh, Chinese, I do have Google, so here's the translation of the card. So first we've got um, the title, the category, the descriptive information, power specs, delivery area, how to replicate it, proliferation information, and then a recipe. So to unpack that a little bit, we'll start with proliferation. Uh, initially, I thought where it says item, uh, increment point stacking zero points, I thought this might have had to do with uh, logistics cargo stacking, but that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, so what I then, you know, after a little bit of toying around, I realized that this is the current proliferation level um, for the item, like how much it's been sprayed, and that you don't see that in a replicator, you only see that if the item is on a belt. Uh, then the next piece would be the delivery area. Now, um, I think it's kind of a no-brainer that these are probably going to be tied to um, to only being on a given planet. Um, I think it'd be a little bit too OP if they uh, were, you know, if they supported interstellar travel um, and having a delivery area of 180 degrees kind of reinforces that idea. If you do want these, um, you know, if you say, oh, hey, they need to be an interstellar or go home, well, then, I mean, it's simple. You just tie them into your interstellar logistics network and then they are interstellar. Um, this is also kind of supported by how low the power consumption is. It's a lot lower than uh, the PLS. Um, and, uh, you know, my, my reason for, you know, my, my, my thoughts behind the reasoning for this is that they're probably going to, um, cap you at one item per distribution facility. It also kind of makes sense because we have five for ILS, we have three for PLS, so you're probably only going to get one for these. 
um, that's going to, you know, balance out with what will most likely be a much lower count of drones, lower power consumption, you know, more limited use, smaller footprint. It all fits in quite nicely. The little brother of the existing logistics facilities. That's what you can think of this as. Um, I think that pr that crafting recipe is probably pretty close to what it's finally going to play out to. Again, this supports the idea of early yellow tier for um, the materials that you need to be able to craft, what you have to be able to unlock first. This is going to be a relatively early achievement, and it makes sense for this to be kind of the, the player's first stab out into the logistics world. Um, I think it's also pretty good to, uh, pr pretty safe to assume that we're going to be able to use these on worlds that already exist and that we won't need to create new save files for it um, as I don't see any reason why uh, this would interfere with existing save data the way that um, a new planet type or resource generation algorithm um, could could possibly interfere with existing save files. So that's everything that uh, we know and I think that we can reasonably infer about uh, this update, but we don't have very long to wait. It's only a couple of weeks out. Um, I may do a video on it, I may not, but if I do, I'll see you then and uh, thanks for watching.